The one big city recruiter this week who said that students on gap years would be better off staying at home getting a job in JD Sports instead. Gap years, she said, are for the rich and privileged. Well, I have to say, as the only one here who actually, I, I've, I've been a backpacker. I wasn't a gap year student because it wasn't uh, one of these things that I did in between school and, uh, and college. I, I graduated uh, with my degree and then I worked very, very hard. Uh, I had an office job uh, five days a week. I had a shop job. I worked in pubs. So for seven days a week, I saved up enough money to go on a trip like that. Mm. Um, I was away for a year. I went to many of the places that backpackers do. In, in my defence, very different back then. There, was, there were no mobile phones, no emails. Literally, you got on that Aeroflot flight to India not knowing when you were going to speak to your parents again. And it was an, it was an incredible experience because I learned how to fend for myself. Mm. Nowadays, it's become almost a... It, it's, it is almost like your package holiday to Greece now. There's well, something about the gap year holidays. It's changed. None of my generation had a gap year. We all went from college to work. And mm. while we were at college, we all held down loads and loads of jobs to pay yes, for yes. our expenses I did. because I... the grant... All right, we didn't have college fees in those yep. days, but we had such small grants you couldn't live I on I was the them. same, Janet, yeah. Yeah, and then when I started work, I did uh, take a year off, but I'd saved up for it. And then during that year, I did yeah. work. I went right across America working all the way across. I, I worked as well while I was I away just to keep the money kids, coming in. That you go around the world and somehow it's so much easier to volunteer and do voluntary work in Africa or the third world when you look back at home and you just think, well, why aren't they volunteering in old people's homes and taking grannies out for a, a tea and you know, clearing up litter? Why aren't they volunteering back here uh, and getting some people skills and some experience in this country? Mm. I feel, what are they actually learning about the third world if they think it's OK to go to a sacred site and urinate on it, mm. as some of these people did? It's mm. shocking. Yeah. I, th I think as well that the, 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 the theory behind going abroad is a beautiful one, to go and learn about different cultures and experience different ways of life. Um, we, we talk long and hard and often on this show about youngsters today being spoiled, but to, and to, to see what it's like to, to struggle to get by. On that side, I absolutely see the benefit. Somewhere along the line, it, it, we, we've lost that sense of it. And I think to, to go anywhere and mm. behave badly um, reflects reflects very poorly on you and the, your country it when seems you're away. to be a trend though doesn't it now uh, to, to be backpacking I mean and there's 27 of them all, yeah. all together wasn't there yeah I mean I, I think you can still work your passage I mean I did it on a ship I, I don't know if anybody knows I used to work on a cruise ship <laughs> but I did eight years and I learned yeah. all about different people's cultures and I respected their cultures mm -hmm. I saw the world but I worked so it, it was, I, I was quite lucky that I got a job yeah. on a ship and I recommend it to anybody. You know, there's lots of jobs out there on cruise ships and they're fantastic. They teach you discipline and they teach you respect mm. for, for, for everything. So I recommend it that way. I think, I think it is a trend that I don't think backpacking is going to be here soon because there's so many different cultures all mixed now in, in the United Kingdom. Mm. We are lucky we've got that now. Mm. I mean, I think it is a break from your parents, isn't it? I think that's I why think, they I do it. I think the thing is, when you're talking about this sort of um, travelling that you, 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 or you guys did, if you're mm. then coming back and you're going to an employer and you're talking about that experience and the fact that you've saved your money and you've put the graft in, mm. and then that's going to be something that's going to be really attractive to an employer. But, you know, my husband and I employ people and really, if we get somebody coming in and saying, oh, I just travelled the world, you know, and, and really, you kind of know that mummy and daddy probably paid for that. Mm. If I'm honest, the first thing I'm going to think is, well, you've probably done a lot of lounging about, uh, smoked quite a bit of weed, because all my friends' kids that went off uh, for years travelling, that seems to be what they did the most of. Mm. And I wonder whether it's still serving the purpose that, that it, it, it mm. did in the old days. Yeah. Now, whether it is just something that a lot of people just see as their rite of passage to go and have, like, a mad year where they just do whatever they want. I, I, I think with you, it was about gaining experience to further well, on. Well, basically, my parents career. sat me down as they did with college. If you want to do this, you're going to have to pay your, your way. Obviously, that was college, they paid to, towards that. But I think it's a sense of entitlement that is, that is yeah. that's what's changed.